Every time I watch something like this, I think I can go battle rap somebody. Then I go battle rap the mirror and I lose. Hey guys, it's Chief from the F Word here to review Roxanne Roxanne. Yes, I know it's not a Netflix original. The thumbnail does say Netflix on the top. They do technically have distribution, but this is actually released in Sundance. And it was also produced by Pharrell Williams, Forrest Whitaker, and uh, some other people. So that was pretty cool too. So Roxanne Roxanne's a story about Roxanne Shanti, a legendary hip hop artist in the 80s. First female to have a hit single with Roxanne Roxanne. And the world that she was living in at the time in the 80s with a male-dominated hip-hop world and trying to make it, being disrespected, being discriminated against on all fronts, dealing with all sorts of things, really just trying to make it your artist's story. But being a female, it's amplified that much more. Nia Long plays her mom in this, which does a really good job in. Mahershal Ali, the great Mahershal Ali, is in this as well. Steals every scene that he's in because it's Mahershal Ali. The dude's amazing. And then we just have this biopic of Roxanne Shanti and her rise and everything that led to Roxanne Roxanne and after Roxanne Roxanne, which, which cemented her in the history books and in the, the pantheon of hip hop artists. So I was going into this with a different perspective. I didn't know what I was really going to get out of this. I knew a little bit about Roxanne Shanti. I'm not going to sit here and say that I know everything about Roxanne Shanti and everything like that. I know more about Big Daddy Kane and KRS One than I do about Roxanne Shanti, but I just do know that she exists. And it was really cool to see this story unfold. And I really did like Shante Adams, who plays Roxanne Shanti in this, on screen because she had such a presence about her. She didn't feel overshadowed. And even if someone tried to, just was something really cool and something to commend. Mahershal Ali, as I mentioned, just steals the show and everything he's in. He was really good in this. Nia Long, however, as her mom, wow. You kind of like her in the beginning, then you don't like her, and then you hate her. And there's all sorts of emotions that go on with her. And you, you really feel for Roxanne because of her mom. Like, this lady's rank on so many levels, and, like, she didn't get a lot of what Shantae was trying to do. But what was even more impressive is that Shantae Adams could go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mahershala Ali and Nia Long and really stand her ground. So I commend her on that. The other thing I liked was the hip-hop that was in this. It was really good. It felt really natural. It felt really cool. The setting in Queensbridge was really cool, too. Shot really well. Felt like it was an old-school style of show. And there was a lot of really cool things to see. A lot of the snapshots of Roxanne Shanti's life were in this. And those hard moments and those hard truths. When those hard truths hit, it, it really kind of, I don't know, it gets to me. And I hope it gets to you as well. I guess I've got two negatives. One that the editing in this isn't as fluid as I would have liked. It didn't flow, pun intended, as much as I wanted it to. In the beginning, it was starting off and it was a little bit slower and there was some spaces in between and everything like that and, and there was some time given to the situations. But as it was trying to fit in all of those moments of Shantae's life, it just kept getting shorter and shorter and cutting and then just going boom, 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 boom. And it almost reminded me of Straight Outta Compton where Straight Outta Compton, the first half was one way, and then the second half ended up being a little bit rushed and shown a different way. This one kind of did the same thing, and I'm not a big fan of that. I get that it was trying to show just the craziness of her life, I'm thinking, or they just said, we need to fit all of this stuff in here, so let's just put it in here and see what happens. So I wasn't a huge, huge fan of the way they just put the movie together. The other thing I would say is that they didn't do as good of a job building Shantae up to be the legend that she was. And by that, I mean, there was the opening, which was really cool. She's kind of strutting. Her friend's kind of yelling out, champ is here, the champ is here. Her mom's following her because she was rap battling for money and stuff. She gets onto the box. You're looking at this 14-year-old girl, and you're just kind of like, what is going to happen? And the guy that she's battling against is like, what is this? She's just a little girl. But then they cut it. And then they did that one more time before. We didn't actually hear her freestyle or we didn't hear her flow until about 20, 20 to 25 minutes into the movie, which a movie about hip hop and you're wanting to build up this character as kind of a legend. And at 14 years old, you really do want to show that she does have the chops, not just say she has the chops. So my issue was I wish they would have shown us early on instead of telling us and then building up that legend. If you go back to an eight mile 
8 Mile was great to me for one big reason. It used all those little rap battles from the moment that he choked on stage in the opening to the very end. It was peppering in these little freestyles from him freestyling to Sweet Home Alabama to them at the uh, the parking lot, uh, him at work with Exhibit. All of those things led up to the big moment. This, I wish they would have done something similar to that where... They showed her at 14, they showed her at, you know, I don't know, 17, 18, and then they continued on from there to build up that legend. And if they just didn't cut it there, it would have been really cool to see. So those are the two gripes I have. So that's my quick review of Roxanne Roxanne. I would recommend it just for the fact that you should know about the story of Roxanne Shanti. It does have some really cool things in it, some really good hip hop, some really good performances, specifically Mahershala Ali, Nia Long, Shanti Adams. Very good, some real powerful scenes in here. I was just kind of hoping that they wouldn't have rushed some of the moments and I wish they would have just built up that legend from the beginning. Just It's like Rocky going up to the ring and then cutting it and not seeing the fight. But I still would say check this out. So if you've seen Roxanne, Roxanne, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I'd love to hear from you either way. You can follow me at Twitter at the F4G. You can email us at the F4 podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts on Instagram. And until next time, I'm G and I'm out. <laughs>